reaction. Tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too <laughs> much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. Just ride a little I'm bit. Eager to learn she won't know the difference. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous <clears throat> subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Can do, lady. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my... Revelio. Me. I'm not expecting it to be that deep. <clears throat> Revelio. Okay. I mean, sure. I actually like the look of this. Kind of like a combat mage outfit. Let's go do this quest real quickly. here okay uh, sure wish I could fly but don't have my broom yet Revelio. Right now, just run it. Revelio. Uh, excuse me. Revelio. 
don't mind if I do. Hello, boys. Y'all don't need to be free anymore. Rebellion. I'm doing a rainy area. Where am I? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Where the fuck am I? Rebellion. Don't mind me, I'm just here to loot your house. Thank you. This looks intriguing. What's down here? Thank you. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Thank you. Lumos. Mini dungeon? Probably. At the very least, I don't have the right powers to get through here to get to the next stage of that area yet. Thank you. Revelio. Back on the groove. Gotta move that ass boy. Incendio. <laughs> I'm maybe a little bit on the evil side for that. But could you blame me? It was right there. I had to. Okay. Think you've gone somewhere a little bit further out, woman? Damn it. Oh, what's this? It speaks to this person, too. Thank you for some assistance. What you need, woman? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the bar, Pinch Smedley's? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would uh -huh. never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? I don't even know how to Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. 
precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, mm -hmm. set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. Okay. They never returned. I'm so yeah. sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Okay. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Sure. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. Damn, My best woman. guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Revelio. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Did I get it? Nope. I didn't get some better glasses. I'll take it. I hate their look. Check those in a second. There we go. Some wagon wells, nice. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Yeah, but I'm gonna shake. I'll be nice, I'll give it back. Nifty. Thank you. For your brave sacrifice, Mr. Leeches. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how <coughs> incredible. I like how Did you find the astrolabe? One pouch. I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Yep. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. I found a bunch of shit down there already. Thank you again. Twenty good. And I bitch. do hope you keep diving.
keep the, the look going. Certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Thank you. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? <laughs> Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us I'm there gonna be very bad keeping the secret. Carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. <laughs> For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Okay. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not Words. going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. Fair. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. You can't imagine how inconvenient to have a boy. I beg your pardon. Oh, Revelio. What's going on here? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Let's clear some of these marks out. I actually I like that. That really blends in with my outfit. What? Pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. <laughs> While I too would like to see <coughs> goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. Smart dwarf. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. 
But my cards, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside Probably. for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. Has Ramrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. They've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. <laughs> Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> Revelio. Give me that. What's this? I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. A shop? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? Still about what selling some goodies. So. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Go there. No green arrow, no me. Yes, a wonderful choice. Thank you. Always good to have more healing items. Again sometime. Revelio. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Revelio. Very well, mommy. Thank you. Revelio. Revelio. I think. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Can't get into there yet. Let's go check some of this gear out. Can't use that. Mm. 
Not worth using that. Ooh, I like that combination. I'm liking it. And then I, I've got like a little combat scenes. I, I can see that see it in my head now. that little ancient gnarl look to it. I just got one to go do this other quest. Lumos. They must have come this way. Think! Who wants to come this way? I have no idea who it is you think I might be. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a dog shit nip back your time. Okay. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Woody now. Students, you can't be so. <clears throat> okay. Leave her alone. Stop her back. Expel it on. Never have come here. I shall kill you for this when I get down Let to you. Uh, uh, you will not survive this fight! Oh, what's the light going on? Okay, you want DO2, apparently. I've never been accosted in such a manner than so close to Hogwarts. Yeah, it's probably my fault. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to Who get to are you? you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. <laughs> She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Island. Okay. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the house <coughs> before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? <laughs> the very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Okay. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. 